Good morning. It is finally Thursday. It is my Friday. Ugh, at work. I am feeling all right. My stomach is still really sore that I'm debating. I still might take. I'm debating if I should just, again, chill and kind of recuperate or if I should go to the gym today. Um, I think I'm going to probably try and go to the gym and, if anything, at least do some cardio. Um, but, you know, like I said, we'll see how I'm feeling because I definitely don't want to completely overdo it and ruin myself. I need to sit down and make a actual workout plan. I need to write down the workout plan and how I'm going to progress. So that's something that I'm going to try to accomplish today as well. Um, you guys really enjoyed seeing Sean last night, which was really cool. Um, I watched it a couple of times because I just love when I get to see him. So it was like nice to be able to see him um i really do appreciate that we are this isn't i'm not one of those people that thinks like oh one branch is better than the other or anything of the sort um this is just something that i'm i mean i feel like anybody who's military and has been military for a while would probably agree that just i really like that the air force does try to do a really good job of making sure that families are able to stay connected as best as they can like they really put families as a priority um that was something that we really were fortunate about even with uh peterson is you know in their mind if your airman isn't good mentally they're not going to be good at their job and i don't know if that's just something that is just like because they're depending on what they're doing and different things like that that they're like you know we can't afford for you not to be right up here and like do different stuff but that was something that was seriously like a priority and I know that some people make jokes and different things and we love to laugh at the jokes that are like you know the Air Force is like in the Taj Mahal that like shows people down and like in the slums and stuff like that and like I mean that kind of stuff is always just really funny to see but I will say that we've been really fortunate and really blessed that we've really had a good support system I feel like kind of everywhere we've gone with uh Air Force, so that's been nice. I'm just gonna probably do. I'm debating if I want to do a simple face with a bold lip. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's just a simple face with a bold lip today because I don't feel like going ham. And so for me, when I do that, my eyes are super simple. It's just doing my brows and stuff, but I really focus on the skin. So I'm just trying to open up this one stuff. I have a 20% off coupon for Ulta, which I'm debating. Oh no! I just ripped part of the like gel off of my nail. That's sucky, but uh, anyways, debating, I still have to buy my sister her Christmas gift and there's something that she wants at Ulta, so I might use my 20% off coupon while I've got it and go to Ulta and get that for her and use that coupon. This is that Paracone MD stuff, you guys, that is super pricey, but it is seriously so worth it. So I've um, been using it religiously and then I stopped using it and it was amazing to see how oily my face got with makeup with not using it and just using the other stuff that I use with it. It was incredible to see, like same products, but not the same base that I did on my face. Yeah, so this stuff I really highly recommend. I think it's worth the price. Sometimes there's things that are just pricey that they just fit, they just work, you know? The only thing that I'll say that I feel like it doesn't do a great job at is blurring the skin, which is kind of what it says it's supposed to do. And that's where it's moving as over. My benefit, ugh professional comes in to really get in to them pores. I really, really uh, need to lock myself up tomorrow, I'm telling you, and work on 
my social media. And I think today for my lunch break, I think instead of just staying in the office, I'm kind of a home buddy. Like even in my office, I just like kind of just stay there. I think I'm gonna actually go across the street. There's a Starbucks across the street that I think for lunch, I'm gonna take my laptop, uh, get myself like a tea or something and just sit and work on the video that'll go up for you guys today and get that all done and just kind of have like a peaceful little environment like that and maybe start that as like a little routine thing when it's not super crappy outside. Like obviously if it's like a bunch of snow and ice, I'm not gonna drive across the street for all that. Like, mm-mm. All right, here's my OOTD. I just am doing this green and purple jacket together. And then, um, just this necklace that I've been wearing like all week. I just did dark lips, half up, half down here. So well, that's my outfit. It is my lunch break and I'm just gonna head across the street like I said to Starbucks I'm gonna go ahead and work on the vlog that needs to go up tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and get that edited and uh, then see how much time I have I think I'll come back to work and then I gotta go and I'm gonna go through T-Mobile because I need to get a new phone I do think that I'm gonna go ahead and get the new iPhone my it's I hate this it just come to this time and you guys should let me know if you feel this way too and I know other people have been saying this I've been saying it for years I really feel like there is something in these phones where after a certain amount of time it's just like made to fall apart so that you have to get the upgrade because my phone like last night I almost had a heart attack I was at 2% I had to go through three different chargers and things like it's just acting all kinds of crazy and I thought I wasn't gonna be able to charge my phone and I was like this is the end this is the end of everything um but really I'm like I can't keep doing this like other things are acting up on my phone as well and I'm like I, I just can't get caught where my phone just completely breaks to a point where it's non-functional when I have you know like right now it's like I kind of am the sole provider for Orion so like I can't have it where my phone's not working and heaven forbid daycare try to call me because something happened or doctor's offices call me like Sean contacts me on here like I just can't I can't have it where I don't have communication my work so mama's gotta break down and get a new phone and I think I'm just gonna do the XR because that's what Sean and I were talking about but because I guess it seems like the XR and the XS, the only difference is like the size. And for me, I'd rather do the XR, the like cheaper one, because I'm not really caring about like getting the most expensive one. I'm kind of pissed that I'm even having to get a new one, especially because when we go overseas, I'm gonna need them to unlock this because we're not gonna be using our phone carrier over there. Um, I am off of work. Ugh, I'm off later than I wanted to. It was taking forever to print. Uh, Sean had to send me his pay stub because we have to like redo stuff for daycare. It is, I'm sorry. I feel like I just sound like such a whiny little biatch, but I swear I'm not. I'm just updating you guys on things that have gone on. So for some reason they decided to have daycare prices go up or whatever. And so we fill out these big old packets and I'm just so glad that we had gotten um, the little power of attorney thing and stuff because lo and behold, you know, we didn't expect this. And look, gotta fill out forms, you know. Thankfully I got power of attorney, but it's like I gotta whip out all those papers for this and I got to redo this packet so he had to send me his like pay and stuff like that and 
it's just funny. It's funny to me that just all of the stuff that keeps happening that any of you guys who are military, if you are new to it, if you are old to it, but maybe you've never had to go through uh, deployment, separations, anything, get power of attorney. No matter what your husband says, get power of attorney. Sean was like, oh, you don't need it. And I was like, you better give me that power of attorney for everything. Just there, and then there's different types. So like my ID is also gonna expire. So that's something that I need to figure out is where the heck the offices that you get IDs at. I need to figure out where that is um, at the base that we're near now because I need to get my new ID before that expires and I had to get a power of attorney specifically for that. I had to get a power of attorney so like when the people come to move us for Italy, they uh, require Sean's signature. So I had to get a power of attorney on that. And then I got like a general one, so like for our banks and institutions, which thank the Lord I got that because when my car was totaled, Geico and their dumb selves were like, oh, we can't give the check to you. Mind you, this car is not, Sean's name is nowhere near on this car. And yet they were like, well, we can't give the check to you. Like, here's the title, everything in my name. And they gave me my total loss check um, to me. But then they messed up and then they had to give me this other check and they gave it to, it was a whole debacle, but they put it in Sean's name. So I had to go to the bank. That was a whole journey and thing. It took forever for them to put that in the system for power of attorney for that. I mean, I was just like, Lord have mercy. It is just not... A joke when it comes to military members being gone I don't care what it is and like I'm not one of those people that is like ooh, I serve too or I'm my husband's rank but people really do need to pay respect I feel like to a point to people who are spouses of people in the military because it isn't easy and so to kind of disregard as if we're just something that you just hang on a wall and you know, that's whatever, like, no. Um, we're definitely putting in some work too, putting in some sacrifices, going through some, you know, stuff. So, like I said, I'm not saying I'm my husband's rank and all that kind of stuff, and do you know who my husband is? Like, I'm not that kind of person, but when people say, you know, and I say that too now to like people and spouses, it's like, you know, thank you for your part of the service, which is to take care of the home front. I feel like in my opinion okay so I am headed in here to T-Mobile which I am almost weirded out why are there so many cops oh, this area is a change in anyways um, I'm gonna head into T-Mobile hopefully this doesn't take too long to do all of this because I still need to go into Target and then I need to get Orion and I really don't want him to be having to wait forever in a day. Here we are. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, well that was super quick because I have to come back tomorrow. I really appreciate when people are honest sales people. Um, so he was telling me with the iPhone they're running the promotion tomorrow. That's gonna be the whole uh, trade in and where you get money towards from my phone towards the price of the next phone so I'm totally doing that because I think when they priced mine out before when they were doing this promotion but I didn't do it I think I get like $300 based off my phone off of the price of the iPhone and they so I'm like that works for me because I don't the problem is we don't know what we're gonna do when it comes to our phones when we get overseas like if we keep this or not but I think the easiest thing that's gonna have to happen is that we pay my phone off and then get it unlocked because I don't want to be over there pay it off and then I can't get it unlocked or like weird crap goes on and obviously I'm not gonna fly all the way back to the States to unlock my phone so um, that's just kind of my little dilemma right now <sighs> but um, I'm thinking that I'll do that, get the price, and then I will, like I said, be able to just pay off the phone. 
because I think they said the price of the phone was like $800 and then you take the $300 off of it and even with that, I mean, we could just pay it, but I'll still take it. Oh, Tay. Oh, Tay. I got Orion, got into the store. We got out unscathed. He actually was behaving pretty well. I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog, so I'm just gonna get home, unload groceries, and then us just do our normal night no. and go to bed, no. yep. And thank the Lord tomorrow I can catch up. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been loving seeing you guys' comments and that it seems like you guys are really watching every day, which is really awesome. So I'm glad that I'm somebody who you guys are looking forward to seeing. It really does mean a lot to me, um, our channel and our family. So thank you. I just want to say that first off that those of you guys that are here for it every day and watching um, for our vlogs, we really do appreciate it. And say, oh, Tay. No. Ah. No, Tay. Oh, Tay. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no! Yikes. Gotta go.